Greetings and much blessings. Back before the United States was fully colonized, a lot of the First Nations of North America, Central America, and South America united in the form of the ghost dance. This was part of the prediction of societal change, but also for the manifestation of societal change. You know, one based on the spiritual and the esoteric, not necessarily through magic and things like that, but just more so just reflective of the rhythms and the vibration of planet Earth. For as the First Nations people cry out in the battle cry, say, Mother Earth is hurting. Her insides are hurting. When you dig, you hurt her insides. When you pollute the air, you hurt her lungs. When you pollute the waters, you're hurting her blood. When you chop down these trees, you're damaging her hair. These are things that the First Nations people spoke of and still speak of to this day. But during the time when the ghost dance occurred, the United States Calvary showed up and tried to disrupt a lot of those things from occurring. And the messages spread it to where pretty much a lot of the law enforcement of all the different municipalities through North America, Central America, and South America interrupted a lot of the ghost dance from taking place. This hymn, this noise of battle cries and powwows and and the drums and in the in the spirit within of true change that's long overdue. That change is long overdue. Please fret not. Do not be scared of the times that we live in. Change is right around the corner. You must continue to dance. You must continue to have your feathers up. You must continue to burn your sage to try to protect yourself from all the spirits that are around you and then bless yourself with the sweet grass on top of the sage. You must continue to walk counterclockwise in a circle in the midst of praying in the presence of the creator. For you must acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. But that's the only way he will direct your path is when you acknowledge him in his ways. Because see, the other issue about First Nations that one doesn't know, we weren't always acknowledging him in our ways. So therefore, he was not directing our paths in past history times. Sure, sometimes tribulation falls upon a people as a way of testing and strength. Look no further than the book of Job. See how Job's life was. But at the end of that trial and tribulation, Job was blessed a hundredfold. For all the things that he lost, he got back a hundredfold. And that hundredfold return is long overdue for Turtle Island. Hokahe. For you must sing. For you must chant. For you must yell with a battle cry of the old ancestors of this North American soil, of all the different spirits that need to be brought back and manifested. For I speak as a representation of my native ancestors, First Nation. I am of the descendant of the Lakota Sioux. Yes, my Lakota. And so I speak to everyone else, all my relatives, no matter what color you are, Red, yellow, black, or white, as long as your heart is right. It's time for us to make this right because back in the days during the ghost dance, it was all about predicting and, you know, summoning and ushering and believing in societal change to come, even if that took a few decades. But so be it, so be it you know, it's up to the people to continue on with the dreams and the passions that our ancestors believed in and died for. They died for that. So are you going to live for that now? This I ask you. Much blessings. Y'all stay blessed.